hello everyone in this video I'll show you how to uh, save all the attachments from your email uh, from any folder of your Outlook to a pre-specified uh, folder in your computer say for example this is the folder that I have created you can see this email test and this is the path so when I run my macro it will get all the attachments based on the folder that I have selected. If I select inbox, it will get it will search all the emails inside the inbox, and if it finds any attachment, it will download and save it into this folder. If I save this subfolder Kolul, it will uh, do the same for uh, this subfolder as well. Uh, just a quick de demonstration what do I mean by that so if I run this first of all um, you see at this moment in this folder there is nothing inside uh, so when I run this uh, subroutine it will ask for which folder I want to search at this moment I will type Colul and click OK and you'll notice it has already uh, downloaded and saved in these two attachments which are coming from these two emails okay if I run it again and this time I select inbox you'll notice it has downloaded all the attachments from the inbox so let me quickly review the code which is actually very simple here I have declared a constant which is my folder path the folder path is nothing but where I want to download and save my attachments which is this email which is this I'll just copy this and put it here uh, then uh, in the outlook uh, you need to create an object or declare object uh, to get all access to all the Outlook uh, instances or variables. Um, it is called namespace, and there is only one namespace which is called Mappy. Okay, so dim ns as namespace, and we set this ns as get namespace Mappy then we declare the inbox as a mappy folder and we set inbox as ns dot get default folder uh, outlook folder inbox which is very simple basically if i just show you quickly when you type ns sorry ns dot get default folder and start bracket you'll see just pick one of the folder which is inbox from here okay so it is not very hard at all and then I create a string as a search folder and for this search folder uh, an input box will be prompted and whatever you type in here that will be our search folder this search folder will be used later on okay and item as object obviously attach as attachment file name as a string okay actually we don't uh, probably need that anyway i as integer so in this block of code uh, what it does is it uh, the search folder that we specified through this inbox it will go to the inbox and if it finds that the inbox or the folder that we want to search is empty it will just generate a message there are no message in the inbox but if it has some email then there is a loop for each item in subfolder or the folder inbox or whatever box dot items and in the items we set the attachment 
it will search all the attachments attach dot save as file we need to just uh, declare the path of the file and name of the file so the path is the constant that we have the already declared here folder path and attach dot file name is the name of the attachment so it will save if it finds any attachment it will just save into that path and with the file in and it will go to the next because I was 0 from 0 to you know just common looping uh, thing I have just if you want to search for a specific type of file for a Excel you can just create another little if statement if write attachment dot file name is XLS then blah 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 it's it's not very hard thing to do so to get the uh, complete code you just visit my website and it is there uh, thanks for watching hope this helps